My hack is actually open source Volta, voice over LTE. Let me start off uh, with some questions to the audience. What is the limiting, what, what is, if you're a mobile operator, there's one resource that's really, really limited. What is that? Spectrum. Spectrum, that's right, that's right. <laughs> 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 well, uh, next question. If, if you've been in a, at a crowded place, for example like this, with a lot of people surfing, did anybody of you notice that you might have poor data coverage? Anybody? Yep. Particularly downstairs. Uh, particularly downstairs. So, okay. Um, the last question. And then I finally start. How much percentage do you think of the spectrum do you normally use for voice on a 3G network? 4%. Uh, 4%. <laughs> 4%. <laughs> Lucky. Any other guess? Oh, that's pretty close. You can actually say on a, on a pretty basic standard 3G network, you have 40% of the available spectrum used for voice. 40%. That's actually quite a lot. Also, so if you, if you switch to LTE and if you switch to voice over LTE, which is pure data, you get this number down to 10%. Also, you have to think of, like, if, if you're building a new network, then, of course, building a new LTE network is way cheaper than building a 2G or 3G network. So, for, 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 an op op um, <laughs> for an operator, this is really a pure cost factor. Well, okay, what is voice over LTE? It's actually, actually nothing special. It's voice over IP on the mobile handset. I guess everybody has maybe something like Skype or WhatsApp or something like that on their mobile phone. So, you might say, okay, I have voice over IP on my handset. What's new with Volta? It's not exactly the same. Because one really important issue is that it's really, really integrated in the handset. So it's, it's like plug in your SIM card and make your phone call. And another really, really big point is actually that we've integrated that into the mobile network. So by this native integration in this mobile network, we can actually control the network to give us quality of service. We, we've got quality of service in the mobile network. And last but not least, everybody knows this, if you've got an OTT app for voice on your, on your, on your smartphone, you normally really drain the battery. This is something that's completely different with a voice over LTE. Because on, for voice over LTE, You've, um, you've got all this voice part integrated in your LTE modem. So it's basically hardware. It's basically the core system of your mobile phone running the voice over IP stuff. And uh, yeah, and we've got way better voice quality than, for example, Skype or Viber or anything else. Um, okay. So. Um, let me start off with a small demo. Um, well, if you, if you want to do voice over LTE, you need to have a voice over LTE handset. And um, technically speaking, um, I think uh, Qualcomm integrated voice over LTE in 2010, something like that. So technically speaking, every handset produced since then should support Volta. The problem here is that, um, that even though the hardware supports it, you still have to add uh, some uh, functionality to the software. And not every provider has added this to the software. Like, for example, stock Android doesn't support Volta. That's why, for example, if I have a, another phone, like my Google Nexus, my private phone, um, I have to use an extra app to make voice calls. Okay, um, my small demonstration here. I've got um, my non-Volta handset. 
which is running a pretty standard application Zoiper running on our uh, LTE network. And as you can see, wait, 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 da, 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 better. I can hopefully uh, <laughs> yeah. Wait a second. So, uh, well, I'll, I'll be his verbalist. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's up here, actually. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. Obviously, for my LTE cell, the cable is too long, <laughs> unfortunately, um, since my uh, Nexus just disconnected. Um, but... Um, does anybody want to make a call? This one is still connected. You can just dial well, in I'll any... What I would like to call you. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> can I call you? This should be the number, uh, but it's German number. That's okay. I use my free French language. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Eight countries. Yeah. And uh, in fact, it's a really good demonstration of the... Plus... Uh, plus four nine. Plus, uh, four nine. Four zero. Four zero. Uh, four six eight. Four six eight. Nine. Nine. Six seven nine. Nine three. Nine three. And this is being video, so everybody will have your phone number now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Ah, here we got. Um, you've got the ring, and I. I, I can hear you. And I can hear you too. How amazing uh, is that? And you will, of course, recognize that you've got a German number because I'm yeah. going into my true phone and because I call you Germany, it'll present my German number. Exactly, exactly. It's going through a gateway in Germany, some, <laughs> some servers in the Netherlands, stuff like that. Yeah, you, you could have got extra bonus marks by having true phone mobile numbers on everything. Yeah. Exactly. What would have happened on the phone? Between here and downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, we've, we've had some difficulties while implementing this. And this is, for example, that, um, for example, on those handsets, uh, I don't know why they use the standard they're using, like, AMR uh, audio coding and uh, yeah, and we're using we're doing transcoding now between G711, like for the PSTN gateway, and uh, AMR on the mobile handset. Um, there are some things that we're working on right now. Actually, uh, that's uh, the real go live of uh, voice over LTE network in Bulgaria and South Africa, which is totally great and totally exciting. And uh, of course, we want to do some HD voice transcoding, which we don't do at the moment. At the moment, it's only narrow band to G711, but that's fine for the moment. But and the thing that I'm gonna pre presenting on at Kamali World next month that will be SMS interworking, because you need definitely need SMS on a mobile network. So that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions for Carsten? Have you, you asserted that it sounds better than OTT apps. Have you actually got numbers to prove that? And have you looked at yeah. modern OTT apps rather than the ones that were done four years ago? Um, like wire, for example. I, I didn't do... True phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I didn't do uh, the testing myself, but uh, there are some there's some research uh, facility in the U.S. who actually made real measurements of quality, where they really did some Skype calls uh, and compared that to water. Well, that's Skype, which yeah, I'm um, not state of the art. Yeah, exactly. That that was kind of what I was going to say. Yeah. So yeah. I think there are, there are, it would be nice to do those comparisons maybe yourself or or again mm -hmm. with modern OTT apps, which are adopting really smart adaptive codecs. Oh, but yeah. I mean, um, and, and I, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, one, one, one thing, oh, sorry. <laughs> I always forget. Um, one thing you have to know about a Volta is um, that if you if you're running on the pure data channel, like every OTT app, then you're running on QCAI nine, which is best effort on the on the mobile network. And when you're doing a voice over LTE, you're running on on QCAI one, which is uh, really uh, designed for real time communication. So we. We really announce towards the mobile network, towards the packet core, that we've got point A talking to point B, and we want to have real-time communication, and it's really prioritized against everything else on the network. Very good point, and that is why you need to have the ability to get into the mobile network so you can manipulate that quality of service. Exactly. Yeah. Um, on, the, on one phone, on the other. Yeah. What, what, what are you using on the Nexus 5? On the Nexus 5? Let me see if it works now. Mm -hmm. uh, Swiper. 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 Ah. Um, Here we go. Uh, so, so, so now I've got um, Volte on the one side and uh, Swiper on the second side. And I can even do fancy things like turning on whoops, video. video. So what we're showing right here is uh, a voltage call on the Samsung handset uh, work, working to Zoiper, which is an OTT voice. Yeah, OTT voice over Exactly. To basics, how, what's the benefit over Wi-Fi? In a, in a space like this, why is it better than, to do LTE than Wi-Fi? <sighs> um... Well, okay. You can't, you can't control someone else in the room deciding mm. that they're going to download their Netflix video in the middle of your demo. Yeah. It's, it's the fact that you, now, if, if you get Wi-Fi 2.0 hotspots, which have guaranteed QoS service, you can declare that you're doing voice on Wi-Fi and it says, right, that has priority, then you'll do, as, you'll do as well. But the thing mm. is that every LTE cell that's out there mm. has all that as the only standard support, whereas mm. 95 Yeah. But you could do as best. I mean, there are. You get, go to the conferences and you talk at the. If you have the best Wi-Fi solution, the best LTE solution on the planet, who wins? You know, that's a that's a good public discussion. <laughs> and it's nearly nearly club time. Exactly. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> what, what codex is it using for video? Is it just H.264 from Zoico to? Uh, it's H.264. Okay. That's standardized for Walter. No, no, because 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 actually um, it's, it's it's standardized. It's standardized by three GPP that you have to because use. Uh, let's say that you weren't using the um, silicon um, implementation, um, mm. and you had a way to hook in um, a separate code. I mean, is that at all extensible to support custom codecs? I know that you're going way out of three GPP. Well, yeah, you can do that, but the problem is the stuff that's in every single handset does does two six four. Yeah. If you want to hack into it. Yeah, but it's but 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 it's not standard. It's not uh, mandatory according to the Volta standard. So. Yeah. You do as an operator is you have your your application that supports that, and you could prioritize it on the LTE network, 
kind of yeah. shell code OTT because then you have something essentially like Volta. You just pack in some different application of the native one, and then you would have that. So you have yeah. to, as an operator, you would have the possibility to do that actually. Yeah. Then you won't have it in, in silicon, and you will have uh, different resources. So what I want to do is draw a line. I know we could discuss this. <laughs> <laughs> but again, Carsten, thank you so much. An excellent presentation. <laughs> thank you.